everyone, Miss Carrie here from Miss Carrie's Creations. Today I'll be sharing how I was inspired by this month's Hip Kit Mood Board Challenge to create this engagement photo layout. I'll be sharing some of my go-to scrapbook hacks and show you how to use a border die to create those adorable little tassels. I can't wait to share this project with you. Throughout the month, I've been working with the June kit from Hip Kit Club. As you can see, there is a wonderful diversity of patterns and prints here. Some are more outdoorsy, while others give off a beautiful summer vibe. In the Hip Kit Facebook group, we provide two monthly challenges that you can participate in for a chance to win a $25 gift certificate. One challenge is a sketch. The other is a mood board challenge, which I have here. The purpose of these challenges is to be inspired by the colors, the shapes, or the images in the mood board. You may or may not have noticed that these paper patterns don't really have that classic red, white, and blue like the elements on this board, but I was still able to find some inspiration. As I looked at the mood board, I was drawn to the repetition of circular shapes this bundle of umbrellas, and the ice cream cones. The translucent umbrellas remind me of vellum or acetate, and they're clustered a lot like florals would be. I was also attracted to the ice cream cones, which are almost in a banner shape, so I have an idea for a cute little banner. So let me show you what I plan to do with this. I'm going to start out with a white piece of cardstock and grab a few patterns from the Pocket Life Kit. These are designed for Pocket Life memory keepers, but I use quite a bit of them on my full size pages. The first two are designed to be cut out with the PL dies. There are three metal dies available on the Hip Kit site that match up with these cut apart pages. The PL pages are sized at 8 inches by 6 inches and have been recently redesigned to be two sided, so you have more options for your pocket pages. Now, I'm not a pocket memory keeper, but I do like to use these for journal cards, tags, and photo frames on my full size pages. They're also great for travel or notebooks, and the smaller size makes them easier to store in six by eight envelopes, which is how I have them sorted in my craft space. There are two in the back here that I want to use, and they're going to sit behind my photo. I'm also going to bring in some banners. These were cut from these full size patterns in the kit. I like how the June kit has a bit of a boho vibe, which is perfect for these engagement photos. The lighter blue pattern with stripes has a diamond pattern on the back that I want to use. And I'm not really liking how these are currently going horizontal, so I'm going to go ahead and cut out another piece. For those of you who like torn edges, but have a bit of OCD like me, here's a little hack for you. I like to use a water brush to draw a line where I want the tear to take place. This softens the fibers of the paper and makes it easier to control the tear. This technique is great for when you want to tear multiple layers of paper in a similar tear pattern. You can use the water brush to draw that wavy line and tear right along the edge. Of course, if you don't have a water brush, you can use a paintbrush with some water. It works just as well. After my paper had dried, I ran it through my sewing machine. I also added some stitches around the edges of these banners. Stitching, whether it be by hand, with a machine, or with a die, adds some great texture to your pages. It can also help frame elements or make them stand out a little bit more. You can use stitching to create horizontal and vertical elements on your page also. When I laid the photo in place, I felt like it needed a horizontal grounding element, but I didn't want to add a pattern piece there, so I chose to use stitching instead. 
Now, if you remember, the mood board had quite a bit of red and blue, so I'm going to bring these two colors to my page with the tags. On one side, there is a red-orange color tag, and on the opposite side, there is one in darker blue. I'm just using the tops of these for my layout, but if you wanted to, you could create a little pocket to put these in and add some hidden journaling behind your photo. As I quickly cut these out, I would love it if you tap that subscribe button and let me know that you're new here. If you're already a subscriber, let me know that you're enjoying today's project by tapping the thumbs up icon or leaving a comment below. I always love to know which technique you're going to try next. Something that I often do when I'm working on a layout is walk away. I know that sounds odd, but sometimes you just need to take a break and return with fresh eyes. When I did that, I discovered that I needed a bold frame to match the bold pieces I had added to this layout. So I brought in that piece of travel red cardstock and it made such a difference. Now I'm going to bring in some items from the embellishment kit and I'm starting with these three dimensional stickers. I chose a floral one with a banner that says so much fun and I'm going to layer it over a die cut to help it stand out a little bit more. I'm also bringing in these beautiful acetate florals and leaf shapes. Remember the umbrellas on the mood board? They had a translucency about them that are much like these pieces. When I adhere acetate shapes in place, I try to place adhesive in a spot that's going to be hidden. Foam stickers can be used to provide an extra layer of dimension. You just simply place the foam dot in an inconspicuous area and the rigidness of the acetate will elevate that piece off the page. At the top of the layout, I'm adding some additional acetate leaves. If you look closely, you'll notice that some of these pieces feature a delicate gold glitter accent which brings a touch of understated elegance to this page. I'll be attaching a small tag near the leaves. To create this shape, I used the die designed to cut out all the shapes from the cut apart page in this PL collection. There were a few tabs to choose from in this collection, but I selected one that matched the colors of the banners below. Over the top of that, I'm layering a little banner sticker that says my happy place. This is the same color as the banner in the circle sticker below. Remember how I told you that the ice cream cones in the mood board had a banner shape? Well, those inspired me to create these little tassels, which match the tassels on my daughter's dress in the photo. These are super simple to create with cardstock and the fringe die. I only cut three of these because you won't use the entire length of this border for your tassels. I have also created some gold trim for the top of the tassels. I used the gold acrylic paint that came in the color kit to paint the top of some white cardstock. To create the tassel, I'm using a quilling tool. If you don't own one of these, you can also use a pair of tweezers. I'm going to start rolling the end of this tightly around the quilling tool, and then I'll add a little glue along the top edge and finish rolling the piece. The thickness of the tassel will be determined by the length of fringe that you cut. Once you have finished rolling this, you will need to hold the end in place for a few moments, and then you have a little tassel. I wanted to add a little bit of gold to mine to match the glitter on the acetate shapes, so I'm going to wrap a piece of this trim around the top. You only need about one inch of this strip for each tassel. It does take a little longer for this strip to stay in place as the glue sets. Now I'm a bit impatient, so I used a fabric clip to hold it in place while it dried. Now how simple was that? I'm going to quickly create a few more of these for my page using the Destiny Aqua, Cave Dive Blue, and Vacay Orange cardstock. Each one will have gold trim at the top. 
If you plan to hang these, you can also add a loop of thread or twine, but I'm not going to add those to my tassels today. Off camera, I added white twine to my tags and I let it flow down into the florals and leaves. I'm going to bring in some more of this twine to hang those tassels below my photo. I'm tucking one end under this sticker and I'm using a foam dot to hold it in place. I'm just going to drape this across the banners and tuck the end under this part of the photo frame. I'll probably end up trimming this off, but for now I'm just going to leave the tail. To adhere the tassels, I'm using glue dots. You can use liquid adhesive, but again, I didn't have the patience to hold them in place and wait for the glue to dry. The glue dot is also a little more forgiving if I end up changing my mind about the placement of these. If you would rather hang these on your twine, you can string a loop of thread through the center of the tassel. You can also add some little charms or dots or tags in between each of these if you like. All right, now that the tassels are in place, I'm going to finish up this page with a title. I've decided to use these gold glitter foam stickers. Not only do they complement the other gold elements on my layout, they also add a touch of elegance that matches the engagement announcement photos. The word memories is being adhered to one of the cardstock product strips. This is a softer blue color that matches the tab at the top, the large banner, and the lighter blue tassels. Below this, I'm adding a small strip of cardstock in vacay orange. The blue and orange color palette is predominantly displayed throughout the page. So to create a nice cohesiveness in the design, I added those two strips that highlight those colors. Behind the title, I'm adding more of those acetate leaves. This is adding some color to that area of the page, and it's creating the third point in my visual triangle. Below the gold title, I'm adding a subtitle that says Live for the Moment. This comes from the chipboard collection, and it finishes off this area of the page. I am going to bring in a little more of the gold glitter. I'm just going to use a few of these gold foam dots and scatter them throughout the page. I'm going to finish adhering these items in place, and then I'll share the completed layout with you. Off camera, I added a little bit of twine at the top of the page. I also added a few knots in between the tassels to give them some texture. I did bring back that mood board so that I could show you how it inspired this layout. It did come as a surprise to me to see that I did incorporate quite a bit of red and blue on the page. Now the red is more of an orange red, but it did create a nice complementary color palette with the blue. I was able to mimic the translucent umbrellas with the acetate leaves and flowers. I also brought in that ice cream cone banner shape with the tassels. Now, if you want to join this month's challenge for a chance to win a $25 gift certificate from HipKit, you will need to join the Facebook group. In the description below, I have added a link to the challenge and a link to the kit in the list of supplies I used today. Today's project involved using images from a mood board and showing you how I incorporated them into my project. Now, to be honest, I was uncertain of how I would integrate some of the mood board elements, but to my surprise, everything came together beautifully. As I created today's layout, I did share a few of my go-to scrapbook hacks, like creating tears with a water brush, incorporating PL pages on full-size designs, some ways to use stitching, and how I use fabric clips. I hope that you give a few of these techniques a try. If you're one who likes to pin photos to inspiration boards, I have added still shots of this page in the HipKit Club Facebook group and on my website for you to use. I want to thank you for joining me today as I created another scrapbook project. If you would like to see more of my creations, you can visit my channel, or follow Miss Carrie's creations online. If you have any questions about this project or the supplies listed below, 
feel free to leave me a comment. I hope that you have a wonderful week and I can't wait to see what you create.